Well, the collaboration with, I will call it the Max Planck Group, has been long and wonderful. I had read some papers and I tried to show how you might detect, and this was new to people, I, that's the only way I could teach it because it was the only thing that made sense to me, was I was thinking how would you experience a gravitational wave if you were two bodies that were just freely floating in space? No big bar or anything like that. And so the thing is, I have, of course I'm an experimenter, so I said, look, let's do a little problem together. We take two mirrors and let them move together, and you send a laser beam from one to the other. The lasers were just coming in in those days. And what happens is that I said, here, take a look at what the time is that it takes light to go back and forth between these two things when there's no gravitational wave and when there is a gravitational wave. Billings was the first in Europe to, to actually pick up this idea, and then that same group did an absolutely lovely job, beautiful job of making this idea that we were trying to do also at MIT uh, into a working apparatus. They solved many of the problems and invented many of the techniques that made the thing really work. So they were able to make an enormous progress with this idea and very significant things were developed here. Uh, they went from the three meter system which was working exceedingly well to uh, a 30 meter system. What came of that 30 meter thing was a absolutely wonderful demonstration of the scaling law from three, that factor of 10. The scaling worked just as we expected. The noise went down in the same way as we expected. And in the process of doing that, they, they made this thing work beautifully. So that's the beginning of the collaboration. It wasn't a formal collaboration that I said, look, let's do this together. That, it's just the fact that they were so successful and so good. And that we, I was able to use that information in the United States to get a study then done. Now, that was one of the things that gave me the confidence to do a study of a large baseline detector, which the NSF did support.